Hello and welcome. We're in the kitchen here this morning because I've seen posts from many of you about things that you've been trying to cook at home. Some of them look delicious. Other of them, they look a little burnt. Well, we all have our failures and today I think about my favorite recipe is my mom's rice pudding. It was a, a delicious treat always for us after Christmas Eve service. We had come to grandma's house and we would be able to have rice pudding and put on a little bit of sugar and a little bit of cinnamon with the raisins and it was a sweet treat to enjoy on Christmas Eve. And I think about all the ingredients that were used, the rice, the eggs, the flour, the sugar, the milk, to make it what it was. Well, today I we still make that recipe but we don't always follow the, the ingredients because we try to make it healthier. Brown rice over white rice, half the sugar. But you know what? It's not the same. It's not that same taste and feeling that I remember and enjoy as a kid. And I thought about that and I thought about all the, the baking failures and the baking successes that you guys have had over these last two months of being at home and trying new things. And I Think about the ingredients that God's given to us in our Christian life. And I think about Galatians chapter 5 when he talks about the fruit of the Spirit. And this is what it says to us in Galatians chapter 5. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. And those who belong to Christ have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live by the Spirit, let us also keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking one another, envying one another. So as I think about those ingredients that God has given to us, we need to celebrate that. We need to live those ingredients out each and every day. And sometimes we, we don't. Sometimes we want to not follow the ingredients or follow the recipe. And that talks about, well, it leads you to, you know, invoking or envying other people and doing other things that might hurt them or harm them. But again, if we think about love, joy, peace, patience, the life that we live as a Christ follower will be fruitful, will be meaningful. And so as you guys go out your day and this week, may you be reminded of these things that God has given to us as daily ingredients for our lives. And I pray that you again continue to live to the fullest that God has called you to live during these days. And so just as I shared with you my recipe of my rice pudding, my mom's rice pudding, I would love to see what are your favorite recipes. Post them down in the comments below and Facebook there and I'd love to see it. Maybe you can post your actual recipe and we can try it out in our kitchens and then comment ourselves. So blessings to you today and this week as you live out as a child of God and that as you think about these ingredients that God has given to you in your Christian living. Have a wonderful day, guys.